Hello, all my Pisces friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm here to bring you your weekly read. So I am going to point you down here. This will not resonate for, with everybody, so pick what you want, leave what you don't. As always, this is for entertainment purposes only. I hope you guys are having a beautiful March thus far. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, um, sign of Pisces for the week of March 6th through March 13th. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of March 6th through the 13th, 2018? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Please bring clear and direct messages through these cards. Bless the message and all the way through here. A Pisces main issue. Oops. I'm going to put those back, but we'll flip these. Alright. And their past energy. And their future. Ooh, two fives. Lots of conflict, Pisces. What is going on? And their crowning card. Additional information. Any other messages, Spirit? No. Okay. Okay, so Pisces, you feel a um, lot of stress at home. You have a shakeup um, within your foundation, your stability, your home, your relationships, your family. Um, you're very anxious about it, very, a uh, lot of stress. Yeah, you are making a decision this week. Um, time is fluid, so you may have already made this, um, or this may be coming next week. I usually go seven days before, or seven days after, so if you have not come across this um, situation yet, then it may be coming in the next week, or check your other signs. But you do have a decision to make about your home, about your foundation, your relationships within your home, that's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, a lot of sleepless nights, I see people laying in bed crying themselves to sleep, um, over what to do, oops, yeah, okay, so in the recent past, um, you are, you are feeling horribly backstabbed, something shook up your foundation, something shook your whole world up. Something came in surprisingly. Um, you didn't see it coming. And you're wondering whether you should jump ship or stick it out. But somebody uh, really stabbed you in the back. Somebody really betrayed you, um, took advantage of you, lied to you. Um, I do see in the future, though, you are not, you're going to stop putting any work into this relationship. Um, why is it eight of pentacles here in reverse? Ooh. Okay. And 
this one wanted to pop. Wow. This is also the card that fell on the floor, but I didn't take it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. You got five of wands down here as well. Five of swords, five of pentacles. You guys have a lot of conflict going on. Um, a lot of turmoil. Internal, external. You're very confused. In the future, your outlook card, you're very confused about this situation, um, about this tower event that shook up the found, your foundation. Um, you feel like you were abandoned. You know, you have this betrayed. You, somebody just left you out in the cold. And it, you feel like it took away your stability, your home, your family. And the judgment is here. So it is in the upright. So um, it says that you are not putting in any work to this relationship. But they um, will come back to you to ask for a second chance. I'm going to grab a third deck just because this... I was only doing 10 minutes per sign. But Pisces, you have a lot going on here. Why is the judgment here? for Pisces. That's way too many. Can I get a clarifying card for judgment for Pisces in the future outlook? Clarifying the eight of coin in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, you are just completely heartbroken. Um, like I said, this is not going to clear, or not going to um, click with everybody. So if this is not your situation going on, go ahead and check out your other signs because you would, you would know if you, this is you. Um, yeah, the judgment you have, they are going to come back and, um, want you to take them back. They are going to ask for a second chance and I see you having your back turned to them. So you're not going to give them a second chance because they betrayed you. They left you out in the cold. They took away your stability, your family, your home, your life. Um, and you still are very confused by the whole situation. In your foundation, you have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. So nobody is winning in this situation. Nobody. Um, you are sitting here holding all the swords, but other people are walking away from you. Um, and I feel you're just going to put put your sword down and, oh, and walk away. Um, there was, there was outside competition in the relationship, but this is more um, the, the internal conflicts. You don't know what to do. You are stressed out about this decision that you got to make and very hurt and betrayed. And you're closing off to this person. Why is this five of wands here in the reverse in their foundation? too many. Okay. Why is the five of wands here in the foundation? Ace of cups. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a few of these cards here too, but it gives me an idea of what, um, why it's there. So, there was outside competition. The Two of Pentacles was one of the cards that flew out there. So <clears throat> somebody was juggling more than just you, I am seeing. Um, and that's why you are deciding whether to lay your sword down or not. Um, even though they have ended, that that card had fell out to you. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, if I was doing a private reading, I would have kept all those cards, but that was way too many. Okay, so, um, yeah, you, you patiently waited for this person to, um, you took the time to think this through. I mean, and it, you took a lot of time, you, a lot of time stressing out over this, but you, I see, are going to choose to let this part of your life, this cycle end, this 
um, world, this time period in your life, you are going to allow it to, um, to come to a completion point. You, in your future, you are going to get a message from a fire sign um, regarding a air sign. Um, yeah, or Pisces, for some of you, you're going to have a one night stand with a fire sign. <laughs> um, this message is going to seem cold. It's going to, oops. It's going to um, come off to you like, what the fuck, you know? Um, and it's going to be in relation to this devil card. Why is the devil here in reverse? You are going to break free from this um, feeling like you you need this person to be happy. Yep. You're breaking free and you're moving on. You are moving away from this toxic relationship, this codependent relationship. Um, after you receive a message from a fire sign, and it's going to just... Yeah, you're going to be like, like I said, WTF. Um, why is this Queen of Wands here? You are going to concentrate on your family, your friends. Um, yeah. You are going to take a whole new outlook on life. You are going to walk away with that cup. And um, because you are choosing to not choose that this person. Uh, the lovers here is in the reverse. So another choice you are going to move towards a fire sign um, or you are going to move towards a new passion that you have and you're ready to put in a lot of work for a group of you I see this um, you are going to work very hard on starting a new something a new creation a new business something 